boomerang is a throwback to primitive times. Back then, people threw sticks to hunt, and that's likely how they discovered that certain bent sticks would circle back. Boomerangs have come a long way since then, and are now finely crafted works of art. Boomerangs come in many shapes, but fundamentally, they are all single-wing aircraft. Construction begins with a solid piece of wood. This tree's growth rings have been highlighted to demonstrate how compressed the outer rings become. Because the wood from this section is denser than the inner rings, it's easier to work with. A woodworker takes 16 strips of that dense wood and places them in a steam box for 20 minutes. The steam makes the strips much more flexible. In fact, they're so elastic, they can be bent by hand. Watch how he arcs all 16 layers at once with little effort. The basic form of a boomerang has taken shape. To improve the contour, the strips are clamped into a boomerang-shaped mold. They'll stay in this mold for a day or two, long enough to dry and harden into the bent form. Now it's time to laminate the wood. Glue is spread onto each bent strip. Then, the strips are clamped together again back into the mold. This time, the mold has been coated with wax to prevent the glue from sticking to it. The strips are left to set overnight. The next day, the laminated piece of wood is removed. It's solid but far too chunky to take flight. A woodworker slices it into pieces 8 to 12 millimeters thick. One piece of laminated wood yields about six thinner pieces, each of which will become a boomerang in its own right. But it needs more form, and those rough edges have to go. So a more refined design is traced onto the wood and cut out. but there's an easier way to make a boomerang with sturdy aircraft plywood. With plywood, there's no need to laminate and then physically bend the wood. A woodworker simply cuts out the pattern, then sculpts the tops of the wings with a drum sander. He's made the tops of the wings curve upwards, but in opposite directions. It's this contouring that will make the boomerang fly in a circle. On some models, embedded lead weights are added for improved balance. That laminated boomerang gets the same contouring, but files are used instead of a drum sander. Laminated wood responds better to this technique, but it's much more labor intensive and requires specialized skill. One mistake in the shape and size, and the boomerang's aerodynamics will be thrown off kilter. But our woodworker has the job down to a fine art. To fine tune the boomerang, he first softens it over a steaming kettle while twisting the wings into an upward flip. This blower dries the wood to ensure it stays flipped. Then the woodworker sets it on a flat surface to check the curve. A sealant is sprayed onto the boomerang. And finally, it gets several coats of lacquer for a high gloss finish. And now, these boomerangs are ready to fly. <laughs>